What's going on everybody? My name is Jason. It is Tuesday or Tuesday evening actually. Uh, we are running a little bit behind, but that is the perfect segue into what I wanted to talk about today. And well, with that being said, So, to do a quick recap before we get into this episode, I wanted to touch base on that introduction video, which has gotten far more views than I expected, and thank you so much for all the likes, comments, and views. So, in that video, we essentially talked about writing, directing, producing, and what this series is going to be. Thank you so much so far, and uh, feel free to spread the word. And in addition to that, later that week, we had a surprise random update. And in that video, I was a little stressed and overwhelmed, which kind of describes how I've been for the last few days. Granted, I haven't gotten much sleep, so that's that's a quali <laughs> that's a uh, adding factor. So that brings us to what I wanted to talk about today, which is overworking and overscheduling yourself. And that has been a big problem of mine, and I am getting better at it. But I wanted to talk to you about it and talk about ways that you can solve uh, solve this matter on yourself in ways that I've been finding that help me get through the those tough periods of time where I've gone out of my way to take on far, far too much work than I can actually handle at once. Now, I think the best way to start this is to tell you exactly what I have been doing this last week, and it has been a wide range of things. We had our meeting with Pavel of DIT Media, and then we had to go, then that started the uh, the weekend, the long extended weekend at PVIFF, the Peachtree International Village Film Festival. I said that wrong. Peachtree Village International Film Festival. And then uh, from there, where which at that festival, I had two of my sh very own shorts screened and um and premiered and thank you all who showed up really appreciate all the support and um in addition to that that saturday we had a little break but that wasn't really a break because we were exhausted and we still woke up bright and early but <laughs> moving on monday that's when we had a location scout for a big project coming up that uh coming up next year actually and uh, so right now it's a bit of a hush hush but we'll definitely be having a bunch of videos coming up and as we talk about it as we get closer to shooting. Um, in addition to that, Monday evening I met with DIT Media, Pavel Rusikov and we filmed a 40, kind of a 48 hour uh, horror film and um, well that didn't go too well and uh, it kind of it's kind of the one of the many sparks for this video so that is a pretty basic and rough rundown of exactly how my week slash weekend went uh in addition to that there's a bunch of little small things and then there's all these i, I volunteered at the film festival as well into in addition to that and helped run their award ceremony which was a learning experience you could say um <laughs> and then but all that aside, as an individual, you can only do so much in a certain amount of time, and there gets there becomes a point where it's beyond health, it's it's borderline unhealthy, and so some tips I wanted to give out and kind of things to avoid so that you're not in a similar situation, and I'm trying to apply these to the very my very schedule as well because. There's a lot of things on my plate. I have 15 different scripts that I'd like to eventually get to writing, but I've just been taking on so much and so much at once that I don't have time to be able to write any of those or even put any dents into those projects. And then there's a bunch of projects I'd like to get filmed. Don't have time for that because I have so much on my plate. Now, we got a lot on our plate. It's not bad to have stuff on your plate. It's good, or in my opinion, it's good. I don't like to be stagnant. I don't like to not have anything to do. I like to keep on moving, keep on having stuff to do. The problem with that is you lose track of exactly what you want to do. I have a whole list of things that I have to do and a whole list of things I want to get done, but that list is continually growing. And as I take on more and more projects, more and more tasks, more and more th things that I need to do, that list becomes intimidating and you begin to stress, you begin to exhaust yourself. And there, there has to be a point where you, you pull back and you go, hey, give me a second, I need to recoup, recruit, 
recoup that word. Ways that you can do that is, well, first off, one, simply walking away. Now, that's, that, that was pretty easy. But simply walking away, that doesn't make the problem go away. That is simply a means of stepping away for a moment, composing yourself, and then you come back and the, the ship is still burning. So that it, it's nice to pull away every once in a while and kind of collect yourself and get into that right mindset again, but it's not a, a solid way to have your problem solved. Now, another, another way that I've, I've been finding helpful is making lists. Although it does become daunting at some point, it is helpful to see that, oh, I have to get this done. And you are, you you can arrange the list in so many different ways, but like arranging priority wise, like I need to get this done. And when you get it done, you knock it off and there's that feeling of, okay, I'm getting stuff done. And that that helps. It helps me. It, it may not help you. Uh, you, ha you just have to play around and kind of find, find the thing that, that works for you. Um, another way that you can kind of organize yourself is have a calendar. I have I have three calendars that I work with. This big one right here, I have a little small one somewhere and then I use a Google Calendar. Um, now, just saying that, it's like you have three calendars, how do you keep track of it? That's a good question, uh, It, but it works for me. In, in my brain, like it helps to have something always there that I can reference to and be like, okay, I got this Monday, I got this Wednesday, I can plan this out. But one thing to keep in mind is it's great to have it planned out, but you also need to make sure that you're planning stuff out for yourself. It's it's great to have a passion, great to be working hard and count, do countless hours every single week, but there are times when you need to pull back and just have time to yourself. And those times with yourself are crucial. Uh, crucial to keeping your sanity, uh, crucial to uh, just allowing your body to rest because your brain may be racing at 10,000 miles per hour, but your body is still bound by natural means. And hey, it's, it's okay. Uh, just remember, take care of yourself. Um, but yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk about this week is all the hectic and craziness that has been going on and all the hectic and craziness that is more than likely going to uh, explode in my face in the next few weeks. But I'm hoping to use all these tips. And if you have any tips or suggestions, feel free to comment below, but I'd love to hear. Um, so we're going to get through this. If you're if you're struggling through anything, well, just know that we, we can both struggle together. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if, if you enjoyed this video and well, have a great day. Hey everybody, how's it going? So I wanted to take a brief moment and uh, introduce two doggies who you might be hearing whenever I make these videos. This is Molly. Say hi, Molly. Good girl. Hi. Oh, she did, oh, here we go. And this is Manny. How you doing, Manny? You say hi to everybody? No? You good? Okay, cool.